Cerebral palsy is a brain injury uh, that affects muscle control. Um, it can affect just one limb or up to all the limbs. Cerebral palsy is, a, is such a wide range um, of a disorder that it, you can be very um, competent and able having cerebral palsy or you might be very severe where you need a lot, of, lot more help of feeding tubes or um, breathing help or things like that. It could be uh, a blow to the head or it could be oxygen deficiency at some point. It could be a number of things. It causes lesions on the brain and spinal cord and then the transmissions that would normally be there sent back and forth or interrupted or just not there at all. Connor was a full-term pregnancy and um, we were very excited about him coming into the world and then uh, when we were delivering he was deprived of oxygen for a period of time and um, causing brain damage, causing global brain damage. When Connor was in the, uh, in the, in the NICU uh, that um, he was going to have some struggles throughout his life. Um, he was diagnosed with uh, cerebral palsy and epilepsy. He started having seizures uh, pretty much within 24 hours uh, of, of being born. You're not exactly sure what the outcome is going to be. You don't know what exactly he's going to be able to do or not be able to do. Well, he's completely dependent upon care. So we, you know, we have to get him out of bed in the morning, transport him to, you know, for breakfast, uh, feed him his breakfast, change his clothes, uh, get him ready for school on a typical school day. Um, ensure that he's in his chair properly and so forth. And when we wanted to do stem cell therapy for Connor, it was very, very expensive. And we knew we couldn't just afford it. We would have to save for a very long time. So when we first set out to try to explore uh, a more aggressive type of therapy or treatment for, for Connor, uh, we had such an overwhelming response, such a positive response to people who wanted to help us. And uh, we were forever grateful. And we decided that we wanted to basically, you know, pass that along uh, and pay it forward. And so we decided that the way to do that is to follow, follow setting up a foundation so we can help other parents and other children uh, who, who, who have suffered the same type of injury who would like to aggressively find treatment for their children. We finally met up. Uh, I met with Angie and the boys, you know, we met both the boys and sat down and discussed our stories and they were very similar and we have, you know, the same outlook for our kids that, you know, we'll try anything without, you know, risk of hurting them. Um, and we both have done a lot of research on stem cell therapy and it just seems like the best hope for us. The Connor Puckett Foundation just recently held a golf outing and we attended and they presented us with a check for $4,000. Um, and then, ironically, we only needed another $1,000 to meet our goal, and they said that they were going to also give us that extra $1,000 to meet our goal to get our first stem cell therapy. It's almost our mission or our, our job to inform other people and to help other people get those benefits. So the foundation, we feel like, is a way to, to help other families. I think that it's a great opportunity for kids that maybe don't, their parents don't have all the means to get them this therapy that is not covered by insurance. It gives them hope, you know, that they can still provide good opportunities for their children to have a better future. We want to grow the Connor Puckett Foundation to be a nationally recognized foundation. But we want to be the type of foundation that doesn't ever forget the individuals, so that's kind of our goal.